Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you who have not subscribed to my channel yet, please don't forget to do so. Today I wanted to make a quick video and I'm sorry for the mess that you can see around me. Um, my fiance and I were in the process of like thoroughly cleaning our apartment, but despite that I wanted to do a quick video on this leather, little mini leather uh, doctor bag. Um, and although this is not the best time uh, since my apartment is super messy right now. I did want to make this video before I send this bag off. I got it as a, as a gift for my best friend who's going to be graduating medical school next May. She's currently going to school in Louisiana and finally next May she'll be graduating. So I thought this would make the absolute perfect gift to give to a brand new uh, female doctor. Um, so, you know, and I wanted to be the first person to officially give her her very first doctor bag. And, you know, I know she won't be using this. This is more like a decorative antique item that she'll probably just put on her shelf. But, um, you know, I technically wanted to be the first one to give her her first doctor bag. So, um, this is a genuine leather mini doctor bag, as you can see. But the story behind it is that I actually found this in Jordan. I was in Jordan for six weeks last summer for work. And um, I befriended an Arab antique vendor and I visited him and his shop and his family several times and we kind of became friends. And I purchased this from him for 10 dinar, which the exchange rate at the time was about, I think close to 1.4 or 1.5. So it was about 15 US dollars that this cost me. So I paid uh, 10 dinar for it and um, at the time he was his antique shop was just in downtown Amman on the sidewalk and he had all his an antiques hanging from wires from the walls and the sides of the building just in an alleyway and um, so it was covered in dirt, soot, grime, just grossness. So um, right now it's all you know, jet black and shiny and all uh, conditioned up because um, it's been saddle soaked. And so I purchased this in the Middle East and when I brought it back I thought, you know, it would make a perfect gift for my best friend who's going to be a doctor. So I decided to personalize it. And as you can probably see, I had her name, trying to, the glare is kind of, um, there it is. That's her name, and I had it stamped in gold lettering on the back of the bag. So when I purchased this leather doctor bag, um, this there was nothing here, no letters. It was just, you know, a plain black leather doctor bag. <sighs> but then I wanted to, um, you know, make it special. So I had her first, middle, and last name printed in a gold lettering, gold script. Um, let me see. There you go. The glare is making it kind of difficult to see, but you, I'm pretty sure you guys get the idea. Oh, maybe that's, that works. So, and it's, it seems much golder and brighter in real life. It's just the glare is making it kind of dull. But um, it took me forever to find it because this, no one wanted to do this because if you make a mistake, no one can replace this. You know, none of the shops that um, monogram and do gold lettering, none of them wanted to do this. So I had to find a man who used to do this as a, um, he used to stamp gold letters on uh, leather bound books, but now he just does it as, an ho as a hobby, an older man. So I had to find this artisan who could do it for me but so it took actually a couple months to find someone who could do this because no one wanted to um you know no one wanted to mess this up so I found him and he had her name I had her name put there so you know it's for my best friend Deanna so it's um very personal now like I said this entire thing is uh genuine leather the back or I'm sorry 
the bottom it has four brass feet as you can see and there is definitely some wear on this bag but it is, it is still in excellent condition and it has a serial number and the brand is Shell S-C-H-E-L-L -L. and it says made in the USA so I thought that was interesting I found this in the heart of the Middle East but it's made in the USA um, you have a metal clasp here. This is how you open it. You just, it looks like there was a key, possibly. I don't know if it was actually meant to be locked, but you know, that is a, a keyhole right there. And so to open it, you just, oh, there you go. You just like pull down, it releases the lock or the clasp on this flap. And like those old fashioned doctor bags, I love it. It just opens up into this wide mouth. It is so cute. And this is so small. Since I've had it, um, I've just been keeping it as a decorative item on my shelf. But it just opens up like that. I'm trying to fit it all on the camera. So this is how it, how it closed. You would, um, Sorry, trying to do this up here is kind of awkward. Hold on. Okay, so you just, you know, squeeze it closed, just, and there you go. And then to open it, push down, and then you just pull it out, and then you just open it like this. Oh, it's so cute. And it's that big, old-fashioned, just wide open. Uh, mouth. And you can see it has a brass hardware over here. This, it says uh, Shell. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it says Shell, which is the brand F C H E L L. And you can actually find a bunch of these bags, um, a bunch of these old fashioned leather doctor bags by this brand online. Different, um, you know, slightly different shapes, different sizes, but um, it also has brass D rings. And this is all leather. The le the handles are leather. Kind of flexible but still pretty stiff. And the inside is just a great just um, a great opening. It does have a let me turn it around. It does have a little plastic pocket here. So it does have that. Here's a plastic pocket. But other than that, it's just a great, big, not big, but, I don't know, possibly at some time someone actually had, you know, like medical instruments in here. But that is it, folks. The bag looks so much more beautiful now than it did when I got it because it's all cleaned up. Like I said, the man who uh, stamped it for me. He, la he uh, conditioned it. He conditioned it in saddle soap. So for any of, for those of you who are interested in getting one of these and, you know, need to know how to clean it, or those of you who have something similar to this, saddle soap works way better than, I used some cheap leather conditioner and it was horrible. It left a dull film on the leather. It made it look worse than before I put it on. But uh, he used saddle soap and it came out, oh my gosh gorgeous but there you go folks this is the antique doctor bag little mini that I will be putting in the mail on Monday and sending off to the future Dr. Deanna all right so I just wanted to make this quick video uh, this is a very unique find I'm so glad that I got it and that, that, that I was able to bring it back to America from uh, from Jordan but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments or you're interested in finding a bag like this for yourself like I said I've seen several um, you know several of these bags on eBay if you are interested in getting one um, you know just hit me up down below post questions comments I hope you guys enjoyed this um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so Alright, thanks guys. Take care.